Hi guys, it's Chris Pike here again, and I want to show you a quick uh, way to make a horror sound effect. So if you're like in the short film business and you're making scary movies and you're not sure how to get those scary sounds, I can show you a quick way here. Now let's take a look at this clip first. It's of a dog barking. It's very simple, very innocuous. You'll see. <coughs> nice and simple, just a dog barking, right? What's scary about that? Nothing. But now you can do this with analog delay. Check this out. You drop on analog delay under audio effects. And now, look at this. It doesn't do anything out of the gate. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. But you can now go into the clip FX editor and select a preset. Now, before I say that, you can go in and change all of these different modes here. Dry out, wet out, delay, feedback, trash, spread. Uh, some of those things I don't even understand. But uh, now listen to this. If you put on an audio, uh, an, a, uh, a, an effect like this, let's try Call of Kefu. I know this one's pretty good. Listen to this. Beginning. That's right out of a horror movie, guys. Easy. You don't have to do anything. Listen to this one, Dagon Lives. Like, how cool a name is that? I don't even listen. What does it even do? Oh, it's just, it's nothing special, but um, Dub Delay. I know this one's pretty good, too. Uh, this has a nice horror-y sound. Listen up. Yeah, that's kind of good. And there was another one that I liked. I think it was Idling Semi here. Yeah, so that sound when the, the bad guys attack or the aliens come at you. And uh, we'll try one more, Nightmare Steps. Yeah, so if you're into like horror or science fiction, guys, you know, from a simple dog barking, you apply the analog delay and then you go in and customize it and find either a preset that you like or uh, or you make your own with your own little switches here and uh, you've got some pretty cool audio effects and these are located inside Premiere Pro you don't have to know how to do anything pretty much to make these happen so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll be back more with some more advanced tutorials thanks